Hi, this is Ike from Groovy Entertainment. Today, part two, we'll be talking about the Roy Roger Happy Joe collection. Now, as you saw my unboxing episode, I said I would make a a a, a second part of it to, so I could look into what the thing looked like and everything. And I just looked at most of the movies today. I didn't watch the full the whole movie, but I watched clips of it. Now, this is the in the sense this is the T and N collection of uh, when they used to show uh, cowboy movies in the early morning. Like I think they used to show them like seven thirty or eight o'clock in the morning, and they would show two cowboy films, and then in the afternoon time, two thirty to three four, they would show two more cowboy films. They would always have the person who did the film be the host of their own cowboy shows. Like in this one, this is Roy Rogers and his wife and guest stars who were in the movie with them back in the days. And this is from the 80s, I'm thinking, like 87, 88. Could be maybe 86. They don't do, I think T and N have been gone for decades and they don't show old-fashioned cowboy movies anymore. So all the prints are terrible prints. So when it said it came from the Roy Rogers State, I think somebody in the Roy Rogers State must have recorded this stuff on a VCR tape back when the show was on and put it in their vote. And then somebody decades, years later, found the VCR tapes and released them to the public. This got released in 2019. So somebody went to that in, into that thing to find these old VCR tapes. And these things are not clear at all. They're they're good enough to watch, but they're terrible quality. Some of these, like Sugar Junior, that's a good movie. When Roy Rogers. I think find his horse or his horse has a baby and he have a second horse. That's a good film. And when you could watch it on like Encore Western channel, that's in good quality. It was like um it looks like it was made yesterday. On this copy, it looks like it was made decades ago and not kept up at all. Or like the son of the pioneers. Now, there are no years on the back of this thing, as you see. So I can't tell you what the years are. But I can tell you what the first one is, because I would, I, I, like I said, I saw some clips. The first one, Son of the Pioneer, was made in 1940. And it said color on here, but that's a black and white movie. Unless it was color when it first came out, and they got the black and white print for this thing. Or it was black and white already and they put the wrong thing down and then you got cows of the golden west that's a black and white film these are all from the 40s they're not in here it's, yeah because he did a lot of movies in the 40s the 30s and 40s and then he did his big tv show in the 50s now there's, a, there's another collection called the war of roger 20 movie collection. And I'm going to pick that one up probably this month and I'll do a compare to see what is the quality looking like. Now, I have some Warren Rodgers films in my collection already that is in perfect shape. The picture is not that terrible. And they were made in the early 2000, 1990, when the DVDs were just getting out there. And they, they look wonderful. The quality is real good. You can't find them anywhere unless you go on eBay or you go pay a lot of money for them. Now, I might be able to show you. Yeah, why don't I get my Roy Roger collection? You you will see a pause and a skip at the same time. I have to pause the film so I can get up and get the movies. Got to look for them. Then I'll, un, I'll unpause the movie. So you'll see a little skip, I'm thinking. Like like when you 
take out commercial VCR tapes. <laughs> so let's see if I get my collection, show you what my collection looks like, and then talk about my collection at the same time talking about this collection. So here's the pause. Okay, now, here's my War Roger collection. I got four. Now these are on DVD. These are on DVD from the no year two thousand and four, and these are real good qualities. Like I didn't watch. Let's see, they got Young Bill Hickcott, and they got Young Bill Hickcott on this one. Now I didn't watch my old copy to see how the new copy looked like. But I might have to do that. And if I do that, we might make a, a three part of this thing. And see what else is on here. Okay, so far, there's only one movie on this one that's on here. Now, these are the same way, too. These are the TNN collection. That means you see Roy Rogers talking as. An old man about his movie he did back in the 40s. Let's see, we got ears on some of these things. I don't know, we don't. Yeah, it looks like this. The DVD is one of these things. So they have a, they have, they have two on one side and two on another side. That's how they used to do them back in the early 2000s. Now, these things are not cheap anymore. I got these from like a Walmart, like a Kmart's or Walmart's or Job Lot, something like that way back when they used to sell DVDs for, for dirt cheap. And here's part two to it. Now, look at that picture. And these are the same way, too. 2004 collection. Hey, maybe, maybe this got some extra one here. Let's see, no. Mm. Nope. Mm. Nope. No, here we got one. And. Nope, so, well, the second one on here is Sunset and El Dorado. Now, I don't know what the quality looks like of these two. But like I said, 2004, this was a perfect, this was in good quality. I don't know if they got the same copy on this one, too. But I might do a third part and see the difference. Be interesting. Now, I hit my, hit my second one. The Roy Rogers, the last real American hero on DVD. And then these are from the these are 1946 films. Oh, 46 to 43. And it looks like this. They put like, let's see, one, two, three, four. So they put two on one of the slots, baby. Okay, they put they put one okay what they did was they put one movie on each side of the DVD and they gave me two flip DVDs so there's two so like one one movie on each of them and on this one we got a couple of movies that's on this disc like my on uh, that's Sugar Jr. Uh, okay let's see Can I remember episodes? So I don't keep going back and forth. No, okay, we don't got nothing on this one. So this is by himself, and this is from. I think this is by himself. I'll look into it more, but I think this is by himself. So there are no uh, happy shows on the things. I think they show the movie. They don't have them being an old man talking about the movie. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that's what this is. And then my last Roy Roger collection on, on this kind of format is John Wayne, Dark Command. Now, this is when Roy Roger played the bad guy. 
This is the only bad guy wrote that he did. This is from 1940, and this is this is in real good shape. But Warner uh, Paramount got did this one, so this so that's why this is in good shape. And looks like this. This is the this is the only time that Roy Rogers and John Wayne made a movie together. So if you get this movie, this is a real good one. This is his first movie, also. First, this is Roy Rogers' first kind of first his first big movie that that he that he did. Everything else was all B films. And this is a little short. Okay, this is a long one, ninety four minutes. I, this is, and you got George Raffin here too, and Gabby Hayes. So you got everybody in this one. I didn't know that. Yeah. And our last now now these are these are the good quality stuff, but I'll look back into it and see if they're still in good quality because. When when you buy things at a kid, I was in my twenties when I bought these things, so in my mind, they were good quality. But looking back at them, I might say, "Man, this is terrible looking." So I'll look, I'll do a revision of this thing and see if the quality is so good compared to this mess. And now, now we got the biggies. These things. Now, some of these movies are in better sh better shape and better quality than this new one I bought. Because this came out somebody real estate, the Roy Rogers estate. These didn't come out of no estate. These just came out of um, Mill Creek, finding all these old films, putting them on, on a couple of discs for us to see. Let's see if we got any on here. Here's one war, Roger. King of the Cowboys. King of the Cowboys. Let's see if we got another one. Roy Rogers and riding down the cannon. And we don't got this one on this. Nope. He's riding down the cannon on this. Nope. Okay, I don't think you don't need one either. So we got you got a little mixture of stuff. Nope. And the yellow road of Texas. Nope, he's not in my old collection. He's not in see if he's in my new collection. <laughs> the yellow rose. Nope. So this is so you get more movies on here because it's not in this one. And some of these movies, like Red River Valley, I think that's from the forties. See now these are not in any order. And these are dusty too. Now, I can't show you pictures because there's no picture to show you, except for except for this one cover. I wish he was in order so I could find them out for you. You got some John Wayne in here too. It's on Gene Archie. Here we go. King of the Cowboy with 1943. And one of these kind of discs. The good old fashioned double sided disc. You get two movies on one and two movies on the other side. Riding down the cannon was made in 1942. And one of Red River made in the 40s also. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's Southwest. South, uh, let's see, Southward Ho. He's not on any of these, on any of these things. So I can't show you. Oh, here we go. So we got one on here and one on here. 
Now, I think they're 1939. See, 56 minutes on this one. And no, no time. Good thing I got teeth. <laughs> Nope, they don't tell me the time. So I know on these things, they're kind of cut. They're mostly the TV print from the 50s and 60s when they used to show these things at TV shows. So that's why it's 58 minutes long. Now, I'm not too sure if that's an uncut version of the time. I think the time must have been an hour or so. Because even the B movie that you would see before the real movie came out. So now you would see Looney Tunes, uh, a Roy Rogers or Gene Archer, whoever was on these things. You would see a news program. Then you would see your main movie. And if anyone, if anybody was born during that time, they got to see this stuff. Because I know the cartoons, they ran into the 60s, to the late 60s. And I think Pink Panther was the same way, too. So if anybody remembers seeing a cartoon before your movie, leave it in the comments. Be nice to know who saw this stuff when it first happened. There's one part about it, putting all these things there. Now, this card, this, this collection came from... 2007, so three years after my stuff got born. So like I said, my stuff was, was made in 2000, uh, 20, 2004, and this don't tell me nothing. So this is newer to my collection. Then the next one is the biggie. A, a Western collection, a 100 movie pack from the same uh, from 2006. And you got a lot of Gene, a lot of Roy Rogers, Gene Archie, Tex Ritter. You got a lot. You get the, you get the biggies on this one. Then you get more Roy Rogers on this one. Frontier Justice from 2008. Now, I don't know how to call, I forget how the, the quality are better than, than what I bought. So that's a plus. And you get a whole handful of movies. Now, I don't know if these are so viable. Because I bought these when these first came out on the DVDs. Because I pretend they were what released one. I was there. I just bought it at the price they were going to re release it at. That. This is 2008 also. So they released these two at the same time. Now... They don't really make these anymore. So you just get, you can find them whenever you can find them. So like I said, I'll make a part three and I'll put all my movies that I got to see the qualities um, from my old, from this one to my old, to my, let's say, from this one to this one to, to these. And we'll see how the qualities go from each year. Like I said, this is from 08, 04, and 2019. And let's see how crappy they went. Now, so far, 2019 is not that is watchable, but coming from someone estate should be 10 times better looking than what it looks like on this thing. These are all DVDs. They don't make Roy Rogers and Blu-ray at all. It, it, too, it would cost too much to put these cheap movies on a Blu-ray. It would be better to have them like this. A whole bunch of this at a time. Let's see if I can take one on. This thing is hard to get out, too. Yeah, see? Now, if you had a Blu-ray, you could probably stick all 20 of them on one Blu-ray. <laughs> so... So, if, and if you're a Roy Rogers fan, leave it in the comments. Be nice to see who 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 likes this character or this actor than more than I do. So, if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. Well, another video coming out real soon.